What is up you guys, your boy Tarantino Double SM. We are bringing you another episode of Town Hall 7 to Champions League. Make sure you stick around throughout the whole video because I probably have the best attack that I've ever had. It was on a Town Hall 10, 2 star, and you won't believe the finish. And I know some of you are probably like, yo, Term, what up? You promised us daily uploads and that kind of quit on Wednesday. Well, my computer started pooping on me again. Shout out to MacBook. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what happened. Kept corrupting the files. Matter of fact, I don't even know if this video will go up correctly or not. So hopefully I did actually get that ish figured out. But we will make up those uploads that I missed. So I'll do a few uploads a day until that is done. So 25% so far on this base. My dragons are in the middle. But they're getting absolutely wrecked by those clan castle troops. Got held up on them for a while, and the town hall is being hit up by a couple dragons right now, but those seeking air mines and a delayed rage spell kind of screwed me there. 35% and that air defense is hitting that dragon. I am just hoping that it goes to the outside and is out of range. It fortunately enough it does, so we're going to get a lot of percentage off of that. So this dragon's going to get us a few more percentage. It is going to come in range of the archer tower soon. But because he put those buildings to the outside to where they're not directly touching the wall, the air defense won't be able to hit it, and that was definitely a key in this attack. 41%, keep in mind it is a Town Hall 9, so there are fewer buildings to get more percentage from each building. 42, and that is where we are going to finish off. Now I'm looking around this map, seeing where I can drop my king, and I'm actually going to speed this part up. So I spent a good 20 seconds looking around this base, where to put my king, and I'm going to go with on the right side because those wizard towers won't have enough range. I make sure to put them on the bottom side of that elixir pump because then it'll go down towards the other elixir pump, the camp, and the builder's hut. Once it starts going down in health, I will activate its iron fist and hopefully that'll get me to the 50%. As soon as I get on that builder's hut, I'm having two buildings target me. That expo is still out of range, which is awesome. 46% my king's actually being smart for once and he's gonna go around to this barracks and not head towards a wall So right now after he gets hit by that mortar activate that iron fist So the barbs live get that builders hut and finish off with a 50% victory for seven cups So this next replay is the one I was talking about now I was considering not attacking this base considering it has level 7 air defenses But one of his air D's is down and I'm going with the loons in the clan castle now just so I can target air defenses and maybe a single target Inferno Tower, I'm liking it more than the Max Dragon. I was able to get one of my dragons to go through the Rage Bell and take out the air defense when the balloons weren't able to get it all the way. Now I'm just throwing down the rest of my dragons and hoping they take out these wizards efficiently, which they are able to. And now it's just a matter of working my way into the base. The way this flower base is set up is it's supposed to take you around the base. And my dragons do get distracted a little bit, but that's why it's important to take one dragon on either side in the beginning to kind of funnel them into the middle. Pop that rage spell down there to clear out the left side. That way my other dragons stay straight towards the town hall. And we're getting a good bit of percentage, but we are low on dragons. Those single tower, single target inferno towers are absolutely shredding me apart, plus those level 8 Teslas. But we got dragons with a rage spell on the town hall, and it is just going to grab it. It goes down right afterwards, as soon as that inferno clicked into its next level. So now we're just concerned about getting the 50%. We've already locked up the win. We're at 38% after that pump goes down, and this dragon's going to work its way around the outside. It's not going to come in range of an air defense until a little bit after. So it's going to do a good job of getting me some buildings, and I do have my king to pick up some more percentage points. But his archer queen is to the outside. That could pose some problems if I choose to go from the bottom to the right side. There are a bunch of defenses up, plus a ground expo, so don't want to go over there. The air defense is now locked onto the dragon, but we're just hoping it takes out the cannon, and with its last breath, it does. So now that the cannon is down, we're able to put our king down. He's going to get us a lot of percentage here. But as soon as he comes in range of this Archer Queen, things are going to get a little scary. So Big Bomb goes off, and he's running straight over to the Queen. But we have a couple of heroic barbarians going straight for this Builder's Hut. So think back. If that Town Hall didn't go down, we wouldn't have even been able to get the 50%. So this would have been a loss. 
So definitely fortunate for that raid, and 20 cups for us is a huge gain. So we do have a defensive replay in this video. This guy, he took out my gold first, so that's why the extra percentage was there, but I didn't want to make you sit through a minute of that. And then he's setting in his giants, archers, minions, and heal spells. He's going straight for it. Giants flying in the air. They're going everywhere. He's going to hit the second spring trap there. And this raid is looking really good in my favor. 30 some percent. And he doesn't have many giants left. Those mortars are just raining down, dealing splash damage on his archers. They are a hold of the town hall right now. But I got both my wizard towers up and they're doing a decent job as well as the Tesla is taking out those giants. Just a couple percentage points left on the town hall but he got greedy and saved those archers. So that was the deciding factor in this raid. He was able to give me a shield and a win so help me on my way up to Champions League. So to my young is going to be stuck at 43% and give me 18 cups on my way to Champions so thanks bro. For our last replay here, we are taking on a Town Hall 10. The only reason I was concerned about attacking this base is because he did have those level 3 Inferno Towers, which get a little dicey considering I'm using level 2 Dragons. And we are still using a Max Dragon the CC for this one, and that ended up helping this raid a ton, because as soon as they get in range of those Inferno Towers, they are just going to start tearing apart my Dragons. Look at this, those Rays of Death are going to work. My max dragon is going down shortly, but we do have a couple dragons that are able to make it on top of those inferno towers. Shout out to Cleric Dragoon. That archer tower is going to pull me on top of the town hall, take out the air defense and her as well. And that one dragon is going to hit up the town hall, just barely getting it out of the way. So a couple of close attacks on town hall 10s for this one. We did have a dragon go out to the outside and that's going to do a pretty good job for me picking up some extra percentage points and we're going to be on our way to getting the 2 star victory. So with 46% it's not really a matter of can I get the 2 star, it's where I can put the king to get the least damage on him. That way his regen doesn't take as long, activating the iron fist as soon as he gets to 50% and after he picks up that gold collector we're going to end it there for an 18 trophy pickup. So we're sitting at 2820 right now. We're less than 400 trophies away, so we will be hitting Champions League sometime in the next couple weeks. If you guys are as pumped for that as I am, make sure to drop that like and share this video with your friends. But for now, I'll be back later, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.